about a year ago, I started investing. And by investing, I meant just buying random stocks really, which actually worked pretty well so far considering I'm up 60% this year. Though it's largely due to the pandemic and as COVID is nearing its end, I need to actually do a bit more reading before buying any new stock. Yes, reading. <laughs> Now this project I'm going to talk about is perfect for people who are busy. You probably think you're busy, but I'm a software engineer and a computer science student. So I'm probably more busy than you. All right, what's on Reddit today? Miss Kif leaks Pokemane's real name. The hell is this? I don't call you by your real name. You can. Bitch. <laughs> Good one, Miss. Oh shit, why is my boss calling me? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't watch Twitch streams at work. Or do I? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I created a machine learning model which can classify the useful posts and filter out information I want instead of having to go through a sea of memes, which is hilarious. But if you're busy like me, you know, you, you want to get straight to the juice. Now, you're probably thinking this guy is an absolute idiot for getting his information from a meme subreddit. But hear me out. Everyone already knows about the information you can get from mainstream news, right? So I thought what better place to find additional unique insights than the largest financial subreddit, r slash Wall Street Bet. So the general process looks something like this. Acquire the posts and their text from Reddit, feed them into a machine learning algorithm to train which will pump out a model. We can then use this model to feed in any posts to then predict if it's worth your time to look at or not. Oh and by the way, stock research posts are also known as DD, which stands for due diligence. I might use that term later. For now, let's go into some technical details. The first step is to gather data. This is perhaps the most important step because if your data sucks, then your model is useless. Now, my data set is obviously from here. I originally used the Reddit Pro API to fetch the posts, but it screwed me over since it limits the data I can get to under only a thousand posts before even any filtering. So that was definitely not enough to train the model. At this point, I had already written a bunch of garbage code. So usually I would just probably throw the project into a private repository, give up and drop the class. But I wanted to make this YouTube video, so I ended up rewriting the whole code using Push Shift API instead, which allowed for historical queries. So make sure you read about API limitations before you start using them. I also used the IX Finance API to 1. Validate tickers we extracted from text and 2. Categorize or label our data. Here's an example. If a post talking about Tesla was created on March 29th when the price was 611 and if today is April 12th where the price is 701, then the computed growth is 14.84%. Does that make sense? Yes? No? no. Just replay the video, you're so stupid. Uh, I also had an issue with the finance API where I was running out of free credits to use. So I kind of just made a bunch of new free accounts so I can keep using the free version. And I'm just kidding, I would never cheat the system like that. I bought the service. I then used many conditions to filter and clean our data set, such as removing all punctuations, because you know, machines don't really care about grammar. For example, if it sees the word good and better, it interprets them as completely different, even though the meaning is actually quite similar. To solve this, I used Spark NLP, a natural language processing library. Here's how it works. Each text is first of all cleaned of punctuations, then it's separated into individual words, then it's lemmatized, which means similar words are grouped together, then finally the text is vectorized, which means that each word will be represented by a 1 if it's present in the given document, or by 0 if it's not. And this is what the machine will use to train itself. As I said, I'm classifying the posts as good or bad depending on the growth percentage. I define the classes as good if the growth is above 6% and not so good if below 6%. You might think this number is arbitrary. Well, it is, but not completely. If whatever stock a post is talking about is above 6%, I'd say it's worth to take a look at, right? To train, we use PySpark's machine learning libraries and naive Bayes classifier. Ooh. If you've ever taken a stats course, you've heard of something called Bayes theorem. It describes the probability of an event based on, um, what am I talking about? I took this course over a year ago. I don't remember this shit, okay? Look it up yourself. But I know this works decently well for my case. And just to give you an intuition for the naive Bayes algorithm, uh, it's often used to filter spam emails. And it does that by checking the probability of each word appearing in spam and non-spam emails and computes which category an email has a higher chance to belong to. This is very similar to what I'm trying to do just uh, with Wall Street Bets posts instead. <laughs> 
So I ended up trying a bunch of other machine learning algorithms like random forest, clustering, and linear regression just to see if I could get different kind of insights. And they turned out to be pretty consistent with the results from Naive Bayes, so I won't go into too much details. Alright, so so far I have a model which can classify any given post on Wall Street Bets as good or bad with 65% accuracy, which is good enough to be used as a recommender. I also don't have that much data, so I'm confident I can increase it just by getting more posts. So here's a quick demo. I have here my prediction model and I'm going to use it to predict one post. It's supposed to give me a label of 0 if the post is bad or a label of 1 if the post is good. Now if I run it, it tells me that it's a good post. So here's the actual post we just predicted. It looks pretty good to me and it was created two months ago so if we take a look at the stock uh, here it's about two months ago and it's been going up since then so not bad. I'm planning on making this a feature on a website I'm making so that anyone can use it for free to get stock recommendations so if you're someone who's busy but still want to read some stock research or just interested in general you know feel free to sign up below or subscribe. Finally it's been pretty much exactly a year I have been coding uh, so in my next video I'll talk talk about what I learned in one year of coding I guess so if, if you're interested in that which I don't know why you would be but if you are s s you know what to do you know what to do